In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to join our bustier blouse with yoke. If you have not seen the cutting tutorial, it's on this channel. Go ahead and watch it. Hi, and welcome back to class. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you're a new subscriber, do well to join the family by subscribing. So we had already cut the pattern pieces for this um, bustier blouse with yoke and now we are going ahead to add our sewing allowance to cut our lining and then to do our padding so for the center front this is the center front add your sewing allowance to the side half inch sewing allowance is okay for the side but for the hemming allowance i use one inch and then for the padding pay close attention to how i padded the entire front piece and while i padded it i also notched the under bust region that's what i'm showing you i notched the under bust region so that if for instance you don't want to fully pad it you can just stop at the under bust region for the side i use half inch sewing allowance for the upper part and for the side joint the side you join to the center front and then for the hem the side you join to the skirt part or the down part i used one inch now pay attention to how i padded it i came down by half inch marked and then i came in from the side first of all i removed two inches for the sewing allowance and then i removed one inch to just make sure that what you are padding is not going to interfere with your sewing and then i would form a curve and it's as simple as that now for the back half inch for the upper parts two inches for the side just like the front and then one inch for joining now it's time for joining this is the part i love the most <laughs> okay you join your side front to your center front be very careful to make sure you follow the curve i'm going to go and join this you do that for both sides now after joining it on both sides, the next thing I'm going to do is to notch. So just cut little, little notches. Make sure you don't um, open up the stuff you have already sewn. And the next thing I'm going to do is to iron. Iron, iron, give it a very good press. This will determine how your cup actually comes out. So as much as you can, give it a very good press. When you are done with that, you're going to observe that you might have you know excess especially for me since i did not um i did not add extra you remember when we were cutting i said you can go ahead and add extra inches to your front if i did that i won't have to cut off as i am doing now so pay attention as you're watching the cutting video and now i'm going to be opening up my pad so that i can cut out half in so that it will just be exactly the way the side is i don't know if you if you notice what i did i just recut the part so that it will give me allowance for sewing so when i'm sewing it will not be interfering with the pad because the part i'm using is quite thick so i'm just re-ironing it to give me that um look that i want remember your ironing actually determines how your bustier blouse is going to come out your iron now this thing is already standing on its own so we are already quarter to done the next thing i'm going to do is to sew the lining the exact way i sewed the 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 material itself and now it's time to fix the yoke now to so fix the yoke is very easy i know people find it quite difficult to fix you just pin the center when you've pinned the center then sew from one from the middle to one end when you're done sewing from the middle to one end as i'm doing just be careful to make sure you sew correct accurately no pokering because whatever you sew is what you're going to have now you're going to check where did my yoke stop at this side and then pin the other side that is the right side now and then join it straight to the middle now that's what i've done i've i've joined one side 
now that i've joined one side i'll see where is the yoke stopped at this side and then i'm going to um, pin the yoke to that other spot that the other the other part the part i sewed first stopped and then i'm going to sew from the side to the center don't sew from the center to the side it will be difficult for you to get it accurately sew from the side back to the center now i've done that the next thing i'm doing now is to join my lining I'm going to join my line in the following the line that I used to join the yoke. Now I've joined my lining and next thing I'm going to do is to top stitch. Yes, I'm going to top stitch. I'm just opening it up to make sure that it forms very well. And then I'm going to top stitch on the lining in order to help it to bend to one side. You get oh before i do that i'm going to notch guys <laughs> i'm going to notch first don't bite me <laughs> yes so go ahead and notch 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 and make sure you don't cut into your lines make sure you don't cut into your line before i will find at least top stitch <laughs> i was going ahead of myself so i have top stitch and i've joined the sides of my blouse my this is my front piece i've joined the side and i'm ironing 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 yes now we are at the back <laughs> all right i place my yoke place your yoke then fold it over in the, as i'm doing and then cover it up with the lining and sew straight on top the on top of the lining next is to join the sides join the sides and then we are done sewing you see this one is very easy to do the back is so easy to do then i'm going to fold it over and i have one piece of the back i'm going to do the same thing to the second part of the back now that i've 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 fold, i've um turned it out i'm going to iron 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 remember ironing is really the, the key to Ankara sewing, especially Ankara sewing so iron 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 now that i'm not ironing i'm going to mark did that for the back so remove whatever is your sewing allowance is your zip allowance and then mark four inches from it when i mark four inches from it i'm going to fold my fabric fold my fabric i'm going to use the iron to form the lines of my darts very easy so that you don't go ahead and be disturbing yourself just use your iron and press along the edges along the edge that you are going to you know sew your dart at so now my that line my that line is already formed and then for the other part i'm going to fold it to the back also following that same that leg that i had already marked with my chalk and the next thing i'm going to do is just to um come in by half inch and then i'm going to sew from the tip down to my half inch that's the simplest way to actually form your that is in your ironing so i'm telling you ironing is the top game in tailoring all right so let's be iron again iron 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 <laughs> so you iron and we are ready to do our joining guys we are done we are done with the clothes <laughs> so next i'm going to bring my front piece and i'm going to join you're going to join the front piece with the back piece first of all from joining the shoulder i want to join the shoulder then join the sides so now i'm trying to turn it over so i'll show you how i'm going to join it i'm going to join the shoulder to the darts to the <laughs> the shoulders and then the sides and then i'm going to fix it so whatever you want to um, use to join, whatever you want to join to the down, if you join a skirt to it, it becomes a gown. If you join a peplum to it, it becomes a peplum top. If you join a gathered fleece, it becomes a gathered dress. So we are done with this tutorial. And guys, look at the finished look. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do well to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.